Hello, it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video. And welcome to Lost Kingdom PS5 Edition. So this is a park I've already spotlighted before, back when it was the PS4 version. And today we are coming back and revisiting and having a look at all the new things that have been added with the added power of a PS5. So excited to see what's been added. So let's have a look at the description on the workshop, shall we? So the description reads, Happy Halloween everyone, welcome to the Lost Kingdom PS5 edition. I really had fun going back adding more details and coasters to the park and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I want to thank Iron Matty aw, for his amazing spotlight and feedback for the PS4 park. His feedback and tutorial videos on his YouTube channel really helped me going back into this remaster. Lies. This park now features five roller coasters and three flat rides. The Tower of Terror is best ridden at night. Some really kind words there. I really appreciate that. Thank you ever so much. So let's hop into the park. So here we are in the park just wanted to say a massive thank you as well uh, for that description i'm really touched by that it means means a lot to me that it does so thank you ever so much dr jones for that so i've already spotlighted this park which i'd done with becky Richer, who by the way has gone on to do amazing in her youtube channel as well see i told you i was right i'll make sure to leave her link down below as well so you can go and check her out and the link for the old spotlight as well so you can go and look at the ps4 version of this park but i did an hour spotlight on this park and not once did i take the opportunity to go jones jones calling dr jones my what is the matter with you that was like a oh I, I can't believe that i missed the opportunity so i'm taking the opportunity now but what we're going to do in this spotlight it's going to be a little bit different to most spotlights because we've already looked at a lot of the park already so what we're going to do is we're going to walk around and just have a look at some of the new things that have been added so it may be a little bit shorter than most spotlights and we're not going to go for rides on the pre-existing rides that were already in the park before we're just going to go on the new ones so anyway all of this is new here so we've got this big souvenir shop and then if we come down here we have got this whirly rig that's been added down here so we have shipwrecked so really nicely integrated really like that yeah great job with that that looks awesome and we come back out of here one thing that I did mention in the previous spotlight that I did was your architecture and your building work and how impressive I thought it was because a lot of this here, well all of this here is new. So the pre-existing buildings were pretty much everything you can see in front of you there. But then on that side and over here all this is new and I like how you've kept that consistent theme moving from the ps4 version to the ps5 version so yeah great job with that so we have the roadside hotel really nicely done there and let's just have a look upstairs just see if there's anything here so we've just got some seating up here and then what you've done as well is you've added this little pathway that just comes up here so we have jonesy's trail so let's have a walk up there mind your step bit treacherous up here yeah definitely mind your step because if you fall off that yeah that's gonna hurt so and then we've just got some seating up here that gives some beautiful sight lines of the park as well yeah really nicely done so right what else is new so we've got a multi-story car park that has now been added as well so just more in the sense of parking just around all this area yeah great build we've got all the signs just up everywhere as well that you need so we've got the one-way system going you've got stairs and um, that come up and down for the differing levels you got the road system that goes off to Manchester it's 125 miles to Manchester apparently so and then what else new have we got and then you've also extended all this coach parking as well you got a little staff area just there so all the bins just in there that's new 
And then if you come over here, we've got a delivery area. So security check-in, and then just all this backstage clutter and maintenance area there. We've got a warehouse with the differing bays. Yeah, really nice to see these little touches that have just been added. Is there anything in the warehouse? No. Just checking. Right, so let's hop into this park, shall we? So where shall we start? So this coaster that's right in front of us here, we've already been on that. So we're not going to go for a ride on that one in this spotlight. I don't believe anything there is new. What I'll do is I'll just have a quick walk through just to make sure. So this all looks very similar to what it was before. So we'll just carry on walking straight through. We got the sky ride, which was in there before. I mean, this sight line is just fantastic. This blew me away the last time we were here as well. Just fantastic. Just to be able to see the rides. I mean, there's a couple of different rides that you can see from here as well. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, five different rides. You can see just from this one area, which is just amazing. I love that. So we're going to walk around here. And let's go and find some new stuff, shall we? New stuff. I want to find new stuff. So we've got Jones's Bar and Grill. That was a pre-existing building that was already in before. So much terraforming done around here as well. And water as well. So I'm happy. Of course I am. So we walked past Cliffhanger. And Cliffhanger was just an amazing ride. It was brilliant. It was so good. And one thing as well now with the Cliffhanger is as you walk down the queue you've got this new coaster that comes right next to you as well so this new coaster called death loop and you just walk past death loop as you queue up for cliffhanger i've got the name already <laughs> cliffhanger yeah so let's carry on walking down here shall we i see new stuff i see new things so we have death valley <laughs> So let's walk through here. Just everywhere you're in this park, there's just things to see everywhere. There's just coasters going on all around you. So let's go up this new pathway, shall we? So we have Death Loop. So we'll come into here. Oh, I like that terraforming that you've done there with the skull. That's really cool. We walk past the gravestones. And we'll come up here to a new ride. Ooh, looking forward to get on this. Oh, that looks fantastic as well. And you can just see the coaster just go down just as you walk up the path. And then I believe all of this building here is new, is it not? Just have a quick zoom out a second. So we have King Reed's Bar and Grill. Yeah, this is all new. I like that. Some nice interior as well there, just on that top floor. Getting lippy 24-7. <laughs> and what have we got in here? So we've got a bar and grill. We've got Reed's world famous rustic chips. Oh, oh, I want some chips now. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning, but I really want some chips. Right, and let's have a walk down this queue path. Kind of. There you go, we're just going to skip over. It'll be fine, don't worry about it. And we come to Death Loop. So... Let's have a look at the stats for this, shall we? So we've got green across the board. We've got G forces under six, very nice. Max speed of 69 miles an hour. Well, so we've got six inversions, three airtime counts, two seconds of airtime. So without further ado, let's go for a ride on this. Enjoy, everyone.
that was absolutely fantastic really really great ride very smooth all the way around kept up some really good momentum some great inversions great interaction as well with all the, the area and the other rides as well yeah beautifully integrated into the park really great addition really adds to the park so yeah i thought that was brilliant so we've got a new seating area here i like what you've done down here as well as we were coming back i'd noticed this so you've got a another little staff area down here all this maintenance down here another road system just going out for staff traffic just all these little extra touches of realism yeah great job so what else is new let's go and try and find new things new things right let's come down here and if we turn around we've got oh no let's zoom out a bit more shall we so we've got lost kingdom just written up there that looks all new as well some new signage just up there so we've got the boat tour and let's come over here shall we see this is a complete different spotlight to what i would normally do i'm kind of like just whizzing around not really stopping and looking at the intricate details so lost river so we'd already seen all of this yeah all of this was here before so come back you will get soaked yes you will on that log flume really great log flume as well highly recommend going and checking out the past video and having a look at that because it was really good so what else have we got it's very strange and surreal to be doing a spotlight in this manner oh one thing that i have noticed now feedback that i did give in the past spotlight was i found the cube paths quite difficult to navigate because a lot of them didn't have the fencing on but you've actually gone back and added the fencing onto them now to make the queue lines a bit more distinctive so i do really like that that's a great touch well what else have we got what's up here is there anything new up here iron matty was here right oh i've got my own ride so this must be new then thank you for the amazing spotlight oh you're welcome thank you for the amazing park you create these amazing parks and i'll spotlight them you don't need to thank me thank you and we've got hello oh awesome and what's this ride called iron matty ride oh i love it oh that's ace that's fantastic thank you i really appreciate that and we have Becky's Restaurant. So, of course, Becky Richard joined me for the last spotlight as well. Oh, I really like that. Thank you ever so much for that. It's got seating upstairs. Seating upstairs. Uh, I'm, I'm missing the seating. I'll, I'll, I'll take your word for it. So, what else new have we got? So, I, I do love this park. I really do. It's just such a good park. And I really like the new things that you've been adding as well so far. My favourite ride being, of course, the Iron Matty ride, because, of course. So, what else have we got? We're going to come down here. Now, I did have to load up the PS4 version and have, have a quick look. And I believe that the wooden coaster has changed. But this is all new. We've got Wicked Twister Spin Time. So this is a completely new coaster. So where is the entrance for that? That must be down here. So let's get dizzy. So let's have a walk down this queue path, shall we? Oh, I like all this with all the sweets. Come around here. Some nice theming all around here. Don't be sick. <laughs> I'll carry on walking up here oh wow that's a little bit intense <laughs> it's quite bright up here yeah really nice so let's have a look at the stats for this shall we so wicked twister we've got a green across the board once again g forces are quite high um, try and keep them under six where possible but there we go so shall I, um, I feel like we should actually go for a spinning time you know shall we go for two rides 
what we'll do is we'll go for two rides and we'll have it spinning one time and then go for a front bumper the next time. So, let's go for a ride on this. Enjoy, everyone. So there we have Wicked Twister, once again another really nice addition to the park as well, really fits the theme, fits into the park really well. I do feel that the ride may have slightly been a little bit on the fast side, potentially. I think that could be why the G-forces were quite high, um, just because of how quick it goes. But besides that, really nicely done really well integrated once again so yeah great job now i know that we rode the wooden coaster in the last spotlight but i believe the wooden coaster has actually changed from what i could see when i went back and had a look at the ps4 version to this version i believe it's a different layout to what you had so for that reason, I think we should go for another ride on that, you know. So, let's go and find the entrance, shall we? Here we go. So, once again, you've just made the queue path just a little bit more distinctive again, which is really nice. Got Timber Terror, so a little bit more signage as well from the last time. We'll come round here up here and up into the station so let's have a look at the stats for this now shall we so green across board almost seven wow that's really nice some great g-forces 61 miles an hour six airtime counts four seconds of airtime so let's go for a ride on this
Absolutely brilliant. Really fantastic wooden coaster. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Definitely improved since the first version. I could see the changes that you'd implemented into that and it worked really, really well. Yeah, great job with that. Now, I believe that is the new things all looked at, I think. So, fantastic park, Dr. Jones. Jones, Jones, Dr. Jones. I can't wait to see what you do next. I really can't. Make sure to keep me posted on what it is that you're working on next because this is a high benchmark that you've set yourself here for a first park. So I can't wait to see what it is that you come up with next. If anybody does want to see an in-depth spotlight of this park, please consider going out and checking out the first part. I'll make sure to leave that link down below so you can go and really look at the nitty gritty of this park as well and look at more intricate detailing of it. Yeah, really good job. Thoroughly enjoyed that. So I hope everybody's enjoyed the spotlight. Thank you ever so much for joining me. And I will see you in a couple of days for another Park Spotlight. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves. Bye, everybody.